Hello, thought I'd do a quick video of how to make yoghurt in the instant pot. In the pot I've got um, already one litre of um, UHT. I'm going to throw in another one and I've got it just on the hob on very low because I warm it through just to give it a helping hand before I put it in the instant pot. So that's two litres and I then add dried milk, it doesn't have to be dried skimmed, it can be anything, and I'm using four teaspoons of dried skimmed milk with a splash of warm water just to dissolve it. Place that in. And you need a starter and I'm using Year Valley Natural. It has to say on it that it contains um, live um, bacteria or live cultures in it, otherwise it won't work. Um, I would usually use um, some of my previous yoghurt that I'd made as a starter, but I've actually um, eaten it all, so I had to go and buy um, a yoghurt. You can use your own previous one and then approximately every 10 batches make sure that you buy um, a new pot. I'm going to put about four tablespoons um, in there. I um, don't really think it matters because obviously it can work because it creates the um, cultures. Um, however, for ease, I, can, I then remember four teaspoons of the dried milk, four tablespoons of the live, and then it's easy for me to remember, um, with the two litres of semi-skimmed long life UHT. And you then just give that a stir, and it'll warm through. So everything's mixed in, give it a wee whisk or a stir. So that's, um, I use UHT so that I don't have to pre-boil um, normal milk. It just is quicker for me and less hassle. You don't have to use the dried skim milk. Um, it's just apparently, um, I like, well, apparently makes it thicker and I like um, really thick yoghurt so I strain for a long time as well. And uh, that's done. Ready for the instant pot. So it's in the instant pot. Lid on. Put it on venting. Yo yoghurt. And it automatically does eight hours. You can do nine if you want. Um, the longer you put it on, uh, the tangier uh, the yoghurt will be. That's eight hours and it started. And in eight hours time, um, I will put that in the fridge to cool. Then once it's cool, I will strain through a muslin as I like a, a thick yoghurt. So it's been straining all day. I do like mine very thick though. Um, so I did strain for um, a long time. Uh, so let's have a, have a look. That's perfect for me, I have to say. Nice thick yogurt and I'll um, add that now to sterilized pots.